¡Bienvenidos a la Feria de Sevilla! ¡Ole! Spring in Sevilla is a very special time with the sweet scent of orange blossom and jasmine. The city's two most important events take place, the first Semana Santa and then the Feria. The Feria traditionally starts two clear weeks after the Semana Santa. This is a week of dancing, drinking, eating and socializing in spectacular dressing where men are dressed dapper and women in centuries-old flamenco design dresses. It's like a Spanish Bridgerton, with late nights or all nighters the norm. The sheer extent of the April 1st is extraordinary. From around midday until early evening, especially on Sunday, the first official day, Sevilla society parades around the fairground in carriages or on horseback. Without a further ado, let's get started. Hello, this is Julian. And I'm Aslan. Today we are in Sevilla for the most famous area in the world. We wanted to leave early, but it turns out it was going to be one of the hottest areas ever, with temperatures nearing 40 degrees Celsius. Hence, we left around 4 p.m. It takes around two and a half hours from Marbella to Sevilla. We stopped quickly for a bite and made it to the feria by 7 p.m. The temperature was still 38 degrees Celsius. That was worrying, because even though I am from Pakistan, my body cannot stand the heat. And a very important aspect of the festival is to dress up like a gentleman. Even though it's 38 degrees, but when you come for the feria, you have to be properly dressed up. The reason is simply because it's not just a fair, but also a high standard social event where traditions prevail. Sevillians have preserved the traditions with all its regal glory. It's like Met Gala with a theme Andalusia. Sevilla has a long equestrian tradition, and an iconic element of the feria is a horseback riding. Many locals dressed up in traditional outfits complete with wide brimmed hats and colorful dresses ride their horses through the fairground. It's a beautiful sight to see. Another proof of gentrification is these tents called casetas. There are over 1,000 casetas just like this one all over Feria. However, only 14 of them are free to get in. Once you're inside, if you fancy a drink like a soft drink or a beer, it's approximately 2 euros each. But if you want a spirit like whiskey, vodka, gin, it's approximately 8 to 10 euros. So what is a caseta and what happens in there? These cute little houses are called casetas here and they are cutely decorated with traffic curtains, wooden chairs, people sit here drinking with their families and friends enjoying the time here. It is very important to remember that Sevilla Feria is one of the most exclusive and close ferias of the whole Spain. Each of these casetas belong to local families, group of friends, clubs and political parties. Being able to invite your friends and family to your private caseta proves a certain status in Sevilla society. In the private casetas, the gentry host their guests with lots of food, alcohol and dancing performed in pairs or groups of four. Whereas in the public ones, you are free to go in with your friends, have a laugh, grab a bite and dance the night off.
This passionate and rhythmic dance has its roots deep in Andalusian culture and it's a must see for anyone visiting the region. La Feria de Sevilla is not just for adults, it's for all members of the family. You can go to casetas with your friends and family members to have a drink or to enjoy the amazing food, or you can bring the little ones to enjoy the amazing rides. We are in the Noria because Aslan doesn't want to go anywhere else, just here. I do because I just don't want to use the camera. Oh, this is going fast. Oh. This is going very fast. Oh my god. Look at that! Look at the thingy. Yeah, really, some movie. <laughs> I think they're just changing. We're not stuck. It's Let's not like. Come on, come on. For, 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 I'm going to break the camera. <laughs> it's not that high. Yeah, but if you fall, you're not gonna survive, so it's that high. That was it for the day. We absolutely loved it. One thing though, my feet are really killing me. People say that you can only go to a few casetas, but the casetas we've been to, they are really worth it and they're very good. No queue, reasonable prices, good food and good fun. Ole! I had a really fun day. We love every part of it, but especially after dinner time, around 11 o'clock, the whole atmosphere of the feria changed. It was like somebody injected with the dance portion. Everybody's dancing and it was amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah.